Welcome back everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. I'm filming you with the X100V. Two things I want to do in this video. It's video capabilities and focusing on me. That's one. And two, um, the F-Log capabilities. This little camera, this X100V, can do um, F-Log. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, the, the, so let me tell you the settings. It, it's um, ND filters turned on. Finally, you can do it in video mode. That's because we're doing F-Log. It's uh, 800 ISO because I think this is a little bit dark in here in the cabin. And so I want to I want to bring up the the base ISO of 640 for F-Log. 1 48th of a second, F F4.0. I can't go any lower because then I start blowing out the background. Um, I wish the there was more than one the ND filter um, built into this camera, but it's not. That means I would have to buy something for it. Um, and then it's, uh, I already said it's F4, uh, 148th, and it's 800 ISO. So what else? Um, right now, it's um, the way it's focused. The, the way, right, the, the way it's running is no face detection. What I've noticed in all of these cameras, the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, if you put on face detection, it detects your face, but it doesn't focus very well. Um, I mean, it, it can, and but a lot of the times it has that, like, it goes back and forth, back and forth uh, focus, and I really don't like that. So lately, what I've been doing with this camera is that I'm, 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 um, what I'm doing is I'm putting in a continuous autofocusing. And so they have that a a AFC um, setting. Um, the first the first number is two, and the second number is negative one. I think the sensitivity, uh, the tracking is two, isn't it? Uh, and the sensitivity is minus one, or do I have it the other way around? But either way, when you go there in that setting, positive two, negative one. That's where this is because I could put my hand right here, and it focuses my hand. It takes a little while for it to get there. And then I remove it. Now it's going to focus on the background, and that's that's how I have it set up. There's a rectangle. Now I might I might have a better look right now because the sun is in front of me now. But there's a rectangle for our continuous autofocusing, and that rectangle, if it's down here somewhere, it's going to focus down there. It's not going to focus in the middle. So you got to have the rectangle in the middle, um, and it does pretty good. It does very, very good. I was, I was really surprised. I think that's this is the only way that this camera really can do face uh, detection and, and do a nice job when it's recording. Uh, as for the F-Log, F-Log really is so that your video doesn't look all blown out. A lot of times when, you, when you're taking video, uh, the background is just blown out because you need to um, focus and also do the right exposure in your face and sometimes the background just poof it just looks white no details um, in this case because I'm in the car the windows tend to be a little bit tinted just a little bit and so that helps and uh, it um, what it does is that in here in in the car I'm exposed to my face and with 800 ISO it should bring my exposure a little bit up when I look it up, when I look it up, uh, do the editing, it, it's probably still a little bit low. And what happens is, if it's too low, I get, it's grainy. It's a very grainy look. Um, so you do zebras, and what you do with the zebras, uh, I have it at 75%, and I try very hard to balance the the background with my face. My face cannot have the zebras. Um, because if it does, that means it's blown out and it might not look good. So I try to bring the zebras up to to my face, but sometimes when I do bring it up to too much exposure, the background is already blown out. That means I would need an additional light uh, to expose myself so I can be exposed better. Um, or uh, have an ND filter and then just have the light and me be exposed. It's it's a little tricky, um, 
Again, the idea is that you want the background not to be blown out. And, oh, and also another thing about F-Log is that it, it's not a cooked look. Because a lot of times, um, you know, you, you give it the film profile that you like on a, uh, on a Fuji film. And then it does the sharpening, it does, you know, the clarity, whatever it is, it, it does all those things. And what happens is the video looks a little bit too rich in color, look, it looked too cooked. Um, it, didn't, it doesn't have that film look, but we're used to it. Nobody sometimes really cares in YouTube videos. But in, in F-Log, because um, the dynamic range is in there and, it, and it's not colored, what happens is that you bring up the color, you bring up the exposure, and it has a much softer, uh, not a video filmic look. This is what, this is what, um, what you're looking for when you do F log. Um, but I think this demonstration of me uh, driving in the car with with the camera mounted, let me see, it looks okay still. Um, give you a sense if, if it's really focusing on me or is it focusing on the background, right? With, our, with face detection, a lot of times the background would get in the way. And look, right now, looks like the sun is on the lens. We'll see how that looks in post. I'm using the Rode uh, Go, wireless GoPro. Um, they're beautiful. The sound is really nice. I still don't know how to do sound engineering very well, but these things are really nice. But the audio of the, of the camera is not bad either. And uh, throughout this demonstration, hopefully I'm, I was going back and forth so you can hear the audio and how it sounds. Um, because you really don't need um, an external mic, but it does give it a, a, a better quality and audio because it uh, does isolate it um, and if I, if, if I was outside in the wind like right now let's see let's try so I just opened the window uh, I'm not sure if the if the wind is blowing on the microphone on the camera it might and it might sound like you know all like ugly um, and that's the way it that's the way it is because it doesn't have a like a screen or a dead cat over it um, and but using the wireless go to it has a dead cat right here and so it blocks all that noise and and probably sounds better so you can be outside and the, and the wind comes by and it just doesn't have that ugly sound now why would you want to have all that well you know video production um, is important to, you know, for quality look and feel and maybe even uh, marketing uh, purposes. Um, but if you're a YouTube, uh, you know, content creator, your phone is probably enough. This is just a little review of what this camera can do because, uh, because of its popularity over the last two years, probably the last year in TikTok, it's just like a massive interest in this camera in terms of like, I want it. And unfortunately the price has gone up too much. This, this camera used to be like $1,200. Now I think they're selling them used for like 17. And I think new, you can't find a new one. I'm not sure because of the pandemic probably. Uh, Cause I got this camera before the pandemic and now, I, now the new version's gonna come out. I guess they found some parts. But it's gonna cost maybe 17. We'll, we'll find out. No way. Um, even even though it's 40, 40, uh, 40 megapixels and better processor, not worth it. Um, the five seems to be okay. Look, I'm doing this video. It seems seems fine. Um, taking pictures is really nice. Like all 100 cameras so far. When you want to take a picture, it, it, it does take a little while. All right, I got to go. Bye-bye.